And Philip, when it comes to drawing up this new China policy, trying to reduce reliance on China and de-risking, there seems to be a view, certainly in Beijing, that the delay here, uh, I'm just looking at the Global Times right now, shows the complexity and difficulty of coordination inside Chancellor Olaf Scholz's government. Um, is that the case? Is this very much highlighting uh, the complexity in, in coming to a consensus on uh, how this China policy should look, particularly when you had uh, Birbok, who was in Beijing uh, more recently, who is typically more hawkish than Olaf Scholz? Um, what's your view on, on where this China policy is at and why it's taking this amount of time? Uh, first, allow me to mention that it's a sort of pity that even inside the coalition, they have not a clear positioning and a clear stance, first. Second, um, the entire government is more focused on domestic questions, maybe EU questions, but to be very honest, more domestic questions. Their purpose is to change the society. They say they would like to modernize it, whatever, but they have not a global focus. And they have not a global focus when it comes to foreign policies, no when it comes to economics. Uh, and that's, I think, is still a problem. If you do see and you ask for the federal chancellor, I think he has a more moderate uh, and more deliberate positioning towards China and Asia, whereas uh, the foreign minister, Mrs. Baerbock, is more focusing on uh, domestic headlines rather than on having a strong impact and helping to have a global community and accepting that there is a term called geoeconomics, which means at the end there is no economic policy globally without geopolitical influence and the other way around.